Okay, so Tushar, let's proceed ahead with your HR for IUCL. Yes. So very brief introduction from your side. Yes, sir. Uh, good evening, sir. My name is Tushar Nayak. I hail from a place called Kaiga in Karnataka, and uh, it's known for its nuclear power generation. So I must mention this: like recently, uh, Kaiga has set, uh, I mean, Kaiga power plant has set a new world record for uh, the highest uh, continuous operation of 962 days. And uh, apart from that, uh, it's a, it's an absolutely serene campus, far from the hustle and bustle of the city, and it's located right in the uh, heart of the nature. And if I talk about my qualifications, uh, I have done my schooling in Kaiga itself. Then apart from that, I am a B.Tech graduate in Metallurgical and Materials Engineering from NITK Suratkal. Uh, here I'd like to share an interesting fact. Uh, I think probably is the only college, I mean, in our country, which has its own uh, private beach, including a lighthouse. Uh, and uh, apart from that, I have also done some internships where I have gained good amount of uh, exposure in industrial as well as research organizations. And uh, if I talk about my family background, uh, my father works in NPCL Kaiga and my mother takes care of the house. And I also have a younger sibling. And here I would like to say that I'm extremely grateful and proud of my family. And uh, I tend to derive my inspiration from them. Now, I also want to share a couple of hobbies here. I really like to sketch a lot. And uh, somewhere I feel that it gives me satisfaction and uh, uh, it builds patience within me when I draw sketches. And apart from that, I'm also an avid football follower and a diet fan of Lionel Messi. So that's all about me, sir. Thank you. Okay, Tushar, now... Uh... Your father is working in uh, NPCAL Kaga. Yes, sir. So you never thought of uh, joining NPCAL? Yes, sir. I have uh, researched about it, sir. Actually, my branch is metallurgy, and uh, NPCAL Kaga has never recruited uh, I many engineers from a metallurgy branch. Why do you think so? Sir, actually, uh, metallurgy is more associated with the research part. And uh, the NP NPCL Kaiga is a nuclear power plant, wherein most of the things are operations related, and it's mostly taken care by the mechanical engineers. Mm, okay. Now, Tushar, uh, let me ask you, uh, metallurgical and material science. Yes. So, what made you think of joining uh, IUCL? Why you want to join IUCL? Sir, uh, no doubt it's one of the most prestigious PSUs. I mean, it's a Maharatna, uh, and uh, Simply, it means that it's one of the top five PSUs in the country. So if I get an opportunity to join uh, PSU like IOCL, I'm sure that I will get a very stable career and there'll be good remuneration. And overall, I will have job satisfaction, which personally I feel is very important. So, sir, uh, joining, I mean, it will be an honor to be part of such an organization. Okay. Now, Tushar, uh, let me ask you something about Surat Kal. What is the NIRF ranking of this? Sir, uh, it's, I think it's somewhere in ninth, ninth ranking, yes. Mm, okay. So, uh, Tushar, now uh, what job you've taken from uh, NIT Surat Kal? So, actually, uh, I wanted to try in core field, but then due to some circumstances, uh, I joined into a non-core field as a data analyst in one of the pharmaceutical based firm in Pune, yes. So do you know what is ceramics? Uh, yes, sir. Mm, okay, can you tell me what are the properties of that? Uh, basically ceramics, uh, they have very high melting points, sir. And apart from them, they have exceptional abrasion resistance and uh, they, they have very strong bonds within them, that, which is why they have very high strength. But they are at the same time they are very brittle, so we have to take care of all these properties when we think of designing. But what are the various advantages and uh, these uh, applications? Sir, uh, in most of the furnaces, for example, in uh, in our case metallurgy, we mostly focus on steel making and iron making. Within the blast furnace, the entire inner lining, which is the refractory, is made of ceramics, and it holds a very uh, high significant uh, in in steel making and iron making industry. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So, uh, Tushar, let me you now uh, give you the feedback. Tushar, yeah. uh, this, you know, uh, metallurgical and material science is a very broad uh, domain <laughs> and he might ask you some questions related to that. So the technical snaps also you should go for. And uh, please listen to the typical feedback given by students of IUCL, which are available on the panel. Listen to that, what questions they asked you. They asked you questions related to petrol pumps, petrol price, petrol cost, crude oils, uh, chemical formulas of uh, the uh, petrol and all. So these kind of questions they asked, right? So please go through that in detail because uh, the questions can be asked. You have any date of this IUCL interview? Sir, actually, I, have, I I don't have any date, but then uh, last year they have said a notification and they have said that they will recruit for metallurgy branch. And as per the last year's trend we have seen, it releases somewhere in July. So I okay. think it will be in August. Sir, I have okay. a question for you, sir. Yes. Sir, uh, I have seen uh, most of those Europedia videos and there was one question which you, you are asked to one of the candidates. Uh, sir, I wanted an answer regarding that question. Can I ask okay. that question? Yes, yes. Sir, the question was regarding, uh, like, what do you think about the future of oil companies like IOCL? Because nowadays, uh, I mean, the sector of electric vehicles have been very popular. And how, how do you see the future of this company? How can we uh, tackle this question, sir? Okay, so you can always say that uh, India is a growing economy and uh, it requires uh, energy. And uh, conventional fuel is the only source of energy as of now. And it is going to remain till 2070. So next 50 years, obviously, these companies are going to have future because as per Prime Minister of India, uh, net carbon uh, zero will be attained by 2070 somewhere. So that means next 50 years, we are going to have uh, that uh, particular thing, right? So it is going to be there for next uh, 50 years. After that, obviously, these uh, companies are going to evolve themselves into, you know, uh, different uh, renewable energy domains. This is uh-huh. how you have to answer. Right. Thank you, sir.